Herschel Walker is a candidate for the United States Senate. And for those of you who don't know, he's a former NFL player, longtime Trump friend and ally, and he is the father of Christian Walker. He is the uh, conservative viral star, I guess, like he does political commentary. Uh, he complains about gas prices and blames Joe Biden. He was on Hassan's stream recently. I'm not necessarily too familiar with him, but whenever I see Christian Walker, uh, I'm I'm very irritated with what he has to say and his demeanor. So uh, this is who we have to thank for Christian Walker, because uh, Herschel Walker is his father. But um, Herschel Walker is going to take us back to the uh, fedora tipping days where I remember myself debating Christians about evolution, and he's going to ask the age-old question with regard to evolution. Um, see if you all can guess it before he even says it, but without further ado, let's let's listen. Just, uh, some bomb blew up and it started out. And then I, I tell you something else I heard, and I think about this, because at one time, science said man came from apes. Did it not? I've, That's when you go I'm, to the every science. Time, every time I read or hear that, I think to myself, you just didn't read the same Bible I did. Well, well this was... It. Or we uh, didn't read the Bible at all, or we read the Bible and realized how ridiculous it is. The Bible literally features talking snakes and talking animals in it. So I, for one, don't take books like that seriously. Uh, but nonetheless, I love how he's just so confident. Oh, you must have not read the Bible. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Interesting, though. If that is true, why are there still apes? Think about it. You know, now you're getting too smart for it. No, 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 no. Oh, you're, too, you're too smart, Herschel. If evolution is real, then why do we still got monkeys? Yes, the age-old question that uh, creationist Christians has been have been using as a sort of gotcha uh, against atheists for ever now. Uh, again, we're right back to the 2010s where we're all tipping our fedoras, dunking on these dipshits. But, you know, this isn't necessarily a gotcha so much as it is a question that he could easily have Googled if he was genuinely curious. Uh, so because I'm a very kind person, I took the liberty to Google this for uh, Herschel Walker because it is a question that has an answer to it. Why haven't all primates evolved into humans? So this is uh, an article from Live Science. Grant Curran uh, wrote this. It was published on July 14th in 2019. Uh, while we were migrating around the globe, inventing agriculture and visiting the moon, chimpanzees, our closest living relatives, stayed in the trees where they ate fruit and hunted monkeys. Modern chimps have been around for longer than modern humans have, uh, less than 1 million years compared to 300,000 for Homo sapiens, according to the most recent estimates. But we've been on separate evolutionary paths for 6 or 7 million years. If we think of chimps as our cousins, our last common ancestor is like a great great grandmother. Uh, with only two living descendants, but why did one of her evolutionary offspring go on to accomplish so much more than the other? The reason other primates aren't evolving into humans is that they're doing just fine. Brianna Pobiner, a paleoanthropologist at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., told Live Science, All primates alive today, including mountain gorillas in Uganda, howler monkeys in the Americas, and lemurs in Madagascar, have proven that they can thrive in their natural habitats. Evolution isn't a progression, said Lynn Isabel, a professor of anthropology at the University of California, Davis. It's about how well organisms fit into their current environments. In the eyes of scientists who study evolution, humans aren't more evolved than other primates, and we certainly haven't won the so-called evolutionary game. While extreme uh, adaptability lets humans manipulate very different environments to our needs, that ability isn't enough to put humans at the top of the evolutionary ladder. Take, for instance, ants. Ants are as or more successful than we are, Isabel told Life Science. There are so many more ants in the world than humans, and they're well adapted to where they're living. While ants haven't developed writing through, uh, though they did invent agriculture long before we existed, which is an interesting thought, by the way, uh, they're enormously successful insects. They just aren't obviously excellent at all of the things humans tend to care about, which happens to be the things humans excel at. We have this idea of the fittest being the strongest or the fastest, but all you really have to do uh, to win the evolutionary game is survive and reproduce. So there's so many misconceptions about evolution. And this this comes to the inevitable, inevitable conclusion that, okay, if so many people don't really understand evolution, 
uh, maybe we should teach it in schools so people understand it. But then that reignites that debate. I, I feel like politics in America is cyclical because we're going right back to the days where creationists are overtly evangelical. They're not hiding their homophobia and their bigotry. Not Herschel Walker, to be fair, because he's not homophobic. But I'm saying more broadly speaking, we see like, uh, you know, with the GOP, don't say gay. We see what they're doing in Texas to trans uh, children. So it's all cyclical. We're back in the 2010s, except this time Republicans are more insane than they were before. Uh, and we're having the debates about um, why we still have monkeys. So I think that this calls for a return to the days where us atheists had our fedora hats on and we intensely uh, tipped it whenever we saw shit like this. You know, we jumped at the opportunity to answer these questions because, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I thought this was interesting. Um, in, in some ways, I'm irritated by this question by Herschel Walker. But at the same time, it's oddly nostalgic for me because it reminds me of an era where, th where things were just more simple in the United States. So even if this is a question that you don't have to ask, you could just Google it since we all have phones. We all have access to Google, right? I mean, you could just Google the question, but still him asking it really invoked uh, that era back in the 2010s when I was so naive, I still was a supporter of Barack Obama, I still felt hope for the world and wasn't, you know, dreading the looming apocalypse. It just reminded me of a better time. So in a roundabout way, I appreciate this question, but don't ask it again because it is a stupid question, Herschel. So yeah, moving on.